YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. We're back with Yacht Racer 2004. My spreadsheet is finally updated and working effectively and efficiently. So now I feel like I can actually be in the rhythm of things. Um, last episode, I asked you guys to give me names that you would want, or at least to decide on a name for the newest polos we have. I'm recording this in that same exact day, so I'm actually not going to be able to update the names probably until the next episode or maybe even the episode after that. Because, like I said, I usually record a lot in one day, and then, I, of course, I, sp I spread those uploads over the course of, you know, a couple of weeks. So, um, typically speaking, even if you're making comments about, let's say, episode 140, which was the last one, I'm actually not going to be able to make any changes or anything as regard in regards to your comments until probably episode 142 or 143. Probably 143. So, please just keep that in mind as you guys uh, leave your comments. I think sometimes people think every time I upload an episode, I'm literally playing the game that exact day or the day before, but that's never the case. They're always uploaded or recorded, I should say, weeks in advance. So, it is bleeding time, as always, and we have Night Breeze and Arctic Crop. Um, Aunt B doesn't have a partner, neither does Suave Buster. Now, Suave is a six-year-old mare here. Eval is A, classification is S. And then we have Aunt B, Eval A, classification C. But her speed and staying are both double S's, which I really like. So I'm, I'm going to prioritize Aunt B first. And we're going to pick. We have quite the crop of studs here. No pun intended. We still got Desert Diver. So Nate Ruler's foes haven't been too successful. So I'm kind of going to leave him off for this year. We have Arctic Crop and Western Tiger. Now, Arctic Crop is already with who? Night Breeze. So we're going to keep that. I think we are going to do Ant B and Desert Diver for something different. Let's see what the little. No complaints about this matchup. She'll be perfectly safe. Jeez, thanks, Galbracer mascot. I had no idea. I was totally going to rely on your input. Granted, sometimes I do use it a little bit, but it's rare. And so I have a buster we will use with Western Tiger. <laughs> Western Tiger is such a beast. The parents seem quite compatible. We can expect a good fall. Jeez, thank you, Gallop Racer mascot. I had no idea. <laughs> it's like just telling me the obvious. Like most of these breeding pairs are going to be pretty compatible for the most part. I don't think there's really going to be a bad matchup. It's just a matter of how good we can actually make something. Now, who's going to be ready to race this year? Anybody? I don't even think we can check yet. I don't think it's till June, right? Sharp Charm. Still need to get a win with her, which we will. With distance with Frank. I don't care about Silver right now. I'm not invested in doing anything with his horses. Tiger's Eye. That is our newest colt. Look at him. Looks like Skip Away. A.K.A. Sedate Ruler. And he is, from Sedate Ruler, out of Ant B. He'll be hit or miss, but I'm really excited. He looks awesome. He is our first foal that actually looks like that, and I've been wanting a gray horse like that for the longest, so I'm really excited for Tiger's Eye. Hidden Mystic. This is a horse that we lost five years old now. Uh, out of Night Breeze from Sedate Ruler. That was really a bummer. And he's doing quite well, apparently. He's got a G1 win. And, uh, yeah, he's doing pretty well, I guess. So good for him. Zodiac Queen, another two-year-old filly ready to go this year. I forgot about her. Zodiac Queen from Arctic Crop out of Night Breeze. Cannot wait to see what she's going to be able to do as well. I mean, she has Aunt B written all over her, literally. So both of them realistically, I, I should say. And I meant Arctic Crop. I meant Night Breeze, not Aunt B. But maybe she could be our next Aunt B, as far as her um, her racing potential is concerned. And Pink, we're distance. Don't really care. Pink was really... Pink is very... She, she's weird. She's weird. She's like, oh, I'm not attracted to you anymore, so I'm going to distance myself. Like, what? What do you mean? What does that have to do with winning horse races? It has nothing to do with winning horse races. That's what I thought. 
And no, Tur Turner, I, Turner is so annoying to me in this game. You guys have been watching me play this for a while at this point, and you will never hear me not complain about Turner because unfortunately he is just always annoying. Hey, you want to race today? No, Turner, I don't. Hey, you want to ride this new horse I got? No, Turner, I don't. Hey, I guess you only ride favorites now. Turner, shut up, please. Like, go away. Gosh, he is like that annoying gnat that you swat at 5,000 times and it just refuses to go away. It's like it just does not care. Anyways, we'll be on to bigger and better things. This is the G2 race here in Toronto, going eight furlongs on the turf. In the Miler Stakes, with Onyx Prince, we got to finish eighth or better. And, um... Yeah, let's see if we can um, make things happen. Keep them running in the mid-pack and see if we can break them out well enough in the stretch, which last time in the last episode, we were a little bit late on this spurt. I'll make sure to capitalize today. Are in the gate. Feeling much better. Keep in mind, this is the same exact day as the previous episode I recorded. Remember I said I wasn't feeling it? Who would have thought fixing my spreadsheet would have me feeling so much more rejuvenated? I felt so thrown off that my spreadsheet was just unorganized and everything. We're good now. We're good. We're ready to rock and roll. We cannot wait for fall. This is August 9th I'm recording. So fall is not too far around the corner. You know, I'd actually love to go to somewhere in Japan or whatever to visit fall. It's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful here. Don't get me wrong. There's still places here in the States and in Canada I'd like to visit. But I've always, always admired how fall is China as well. It works really good okay, for this is where the race is won. One day, one day, hopefully, when uh, the world is legitimately out of this pandemic, because unfortunately we're not. We want to believe that we're not out of the woods, and we're not. Trust me, all of us want to get back to normalcy and everything in our lives, but we are not out of the woods yet. We're just not. It's not reality. And they're in the home stretch. All right, good runoff here from Onyx Prince. He's looking good. He's looking good. We got to get eighth or better. Come on, Onyx. Push through, buddy. Push through. Tough race here. Show your gut. Tough race. He's still fighting on. Still fighting on. That's going to be like, what, seventh, I think? Or eighth. Seventh. Okay. Did as well as we could. Did as well as we could. So, no worries there. We'll take it. Horse loss. Yeah. An average performance. The only real problem would be if you were satisfied with it. Pink, I, I get it, okay? I get it. I'm not really satisfied with it. I'm just happy we hit our goal because not hitting our goal would be even worse. I'm not satisfied. We can do better. Are we going to? I'm not sure. I don't think Onyx Prince is definitely not his father, Great Bolero. I have a fine horse among my next lot of debuts. I would be honored if you would ride it for me. I think I can expect results. Well, I, I'm quite honored that you actually feel generous in giving me a horse for once. Friendly. Wow. Remember our relationship with Cook was damaged for like the longest. It was, I mean, out of all the trainers, definitely the relationship with her was like the worst for the longest period. I think it was like years, two or three years or more than that, where our relationship was distant or dislike. It was so bad. So I, and I'm making fun. I'm making fun and being silly, but I'm actually really glad that we are finally on good terms now i'm not going to spend any points for these horses because i got my own originals i need to make sure i have enough points for when the time comes in a couple of months i thought she was giving me a horse there's no horse here like what do you mean usually when they say that they actually give you a horse they want onyx to run in the summer gp why i mean i love my horse and all but i'm aware of his potential i don't think he is capable of running against grade one horses in the summer gp going 11 furlongs granted that's his distance and maybe he would what's his stamina's at 50 i mean he's a ranked has still has no g1 wins to his name only one win two places and one show that fourth place so in the in the um in the hong kong cup or whatever that the name of that cup is last year that's not bad so I don't know. You know what? Why not? I, I should have more faith in my horses, right? It's not that I don't. It's just I understand his potential. I just don't think he's... I don't think he's at that particular level to win, for sure. But who knows? Maybe we can get a decent showing. 
uh, Pale Fear, they want him to run in this nine furlong race going, well, nine furlongs on the turf in DC. That's fine. Uh, Sharp Charm will be up here next month in a six furlong sprint on the dirt. And then It's a Ghost will be up in a nine furlong race in the dirt uh, in San Francisco. So that's the lineup we're looking at. Probably the last four races of this episode, give or take. Like I said, this is, um, we're not going to race with other horses. We're not going to do that uh, or anything. I feel more confident doing that when I know I have a horse that I can win races with. We really haven't won that much this year. So I'm definitely, definitely prioritizing our original horses more than just racing on random horses to race on random horses. Once we get a winner that we know we can consistently rack up the W's with, I'll feel a little bit more confident being able to, you know, splurge a little bit on that. Okay, race day here for it. It's a ghost. Let's see what he can do. Going on for longs. On the dirt, hopefully we're the favorite. And I don't usually say that, but because I want to get a win with him now, knowing he needs to be in the lead. Third favorite, not bad. So top three goal or a top five, probably a top three, I would imagine. Top three. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, we know where he wants to run, which is really the biggest priority. When it comes to racing with an original, knowing where they need to be on the track, that's going to make it a lot more likely that they can have a better result the if horses you get them in the, in the preferred gate. running position. Okay, basically a perfect start. And they're and off. We're off. Great, great start, start for it to go. So we're already going to send them down to the inside here. And we're going to get a little bit of a challenge here from the five. If I refuse, as my good friend Tanaka, I will not let you get past us. Okay. We are leading, we are leading, we are leading, running a little too fast, who is that? But then the AI sometimes just like to run it like, that's not even the favorite. This Celtic Spree, I guarantee you, this horse is probably not even going to finish in the top five. That drives me nuts sometimes. But we're, okay, we're seven, we're seven, we're fine, we're fine. Stay here. You know, because horses like this, that probably won't do too well, they, are they end up the setting the pace so fast. And if you have a horse that needs to be leading, you have to keep up with whoever the other horse is. Otherwise, the horse is going to be upset. Okay. This and then is that horse the usually ends up falling to the back of the pack. It's just like, what do you do? Do you sacrifice your horse's stamina just to put them in their preferred position? Or do you sacrifice the position to save stamina and just still have a chance in the end? That's what I would rather do. Field's coming. Field's coming. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's roll right now. Two furlongs to go. Let's roll. Let's see. 1.7. Still got a ways to go. Last corner leader. That works out for us, but we're not the favorite. Come on, it's a ghost. We need to break that maiden here, buddy. Come on. In the six. That's got to be Thompson. And of course it's Thompson. Just flying right past us with odd trigger. Tanaka's going to. No, that's not Tanaka. I don't even know who that is in the eight. We got third place. We hit our goal. The win wasn't happening. Unless I hit seven, seven, sevens and. I didn't do that yet, because I still feel like I have to uh, get better with the feel with It's a Ghost. The feel is not quite there yet, and this... <sighs> what? So apparently the feel is good, according to the game, but it's the position that's still off. But the... <sighs> I, like, what? And our spurt was double S, so that was timed perfectly. Start dash, fast spurt, our, our positioning is off. This horse wants to be leading, but again, it's like, oh, and the AI are running so fast. I don't want to tire my horse out to keep up, but I got to have faith that it's a ghost. Can I can handle um, a little bit of a little bit of that, that, that test, so to speak, as far as keeping up with another horse that's also a front runner. Uh... It's a little annoying just because I feel like that was a race we could have potentially won. But, you know. The Golden Derby. Now, I don't know what his distance is. I don't know if he can run 12 furlongs. I have no idea. And I, his stamina is only 55. Seven furlongs in the dirt. Um, we're just going to keep doing this until we can try to get a win with him. Build that confidence and unlock more things. Why did Sharp, Sharp Charm had a race for the third? What happened to her? She had a race this week. 
um, somewhere on the dirt, and it disappeared. Wait, did somebody run with her? Maybe I missed her race. I must have. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the 3rd of April. How did I miss that? Maybe I thought it was going to be this month. Oh, no issues. No problems. Um, They wanted to race in July. It's, I mean... I guess if that's the race they want her in, I'll trust that that's probably ideal. As long as we're racing with her, we're fine. So, unfortunately, we won't race for Sharp Charm in this episode. But Onyx Prince will be back up again. Pale Fear will run at one more time. Then it's a ghost as well. We'll get hit these last three. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, moving. Alright. Uh, I thought I was missing something, sorry. Here we go. Alright, just writing some notes here. It's a ghost back up again. We are the favorite here today. I had a feeling we probably would. And, um, yeah, we should be able to actually take this one away without too much issue. So let's hope we can get the dub here for It's a Ghost. Get his first maiden win. I literally just wrote in my notes, we almost won a race, and watch. We're going to win this race, and that previous fact is kind of going to be irrelevant. The horses are well, as usual, let's get a good start. Not a good start, but we'll take it in. We're off. To go. Push him to the start. front here. And very good. Nobody should be challenging challenging us for the lead. This is pretty ideal. Really ideal, actually. Hopefully we can take this away. Hopefully this will mirror what his father was able to do throughout the most throughout most of his career. Got out to a really good start. Didn't really face too much opposition from any horses behind. Who is this in the nine? Running crazy. You know what? You can go run crazy. I'm not even going to challenge you. Wherever you are, I don't know. Is that Alvaro? It's not. I'm not even going to challenge you. There go. And there you go. Let's kick it up here. Let's kick it up with it's a ghost. Two furlongs to go. Plenty of stamina left. I guess I need to... Oh, whipped him a little too much, but he's okay. He's still okay. We're still getting challenged from the 13 furlong left to go. Digging in. Inside trip on the rail. I think we're, we got this one in the bag. Yes, sir, we do. It is going to be a maiden win, finally, for it's a ghost. Like I said, I just literally wrote in the notes. We almost got a win. We came to third place. Now we get a win. But I'm not complaining because finally we got a win. It's Ghost will finally, I think, break the curse of Sedate Ruler Foes. Remember, all foes from Sedate Ruler had great potential, but for some reason we couldn't really do anything special with them. It's a Ghost, I think, is going to be a different story. Give me that W. Position is A, so still not ideal. What else do they want me to do for the position? It's like they wanted me to challenge that horse that ran by us on the outside. Like, I'm not going to do that. Because you clearly see I could still win. So finally, we break our maiden with It's a Ghost. He breaks his maiden. Fantastic stuff. I'm this teacher in high school. His name was Mr. Fisher. He was from uh, Massachusetts or something. He'd be like, absolutely fantastic. I kid you not. He really would. He would ask you how you were doing. You say, I'm doing well. He'd be like, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Can't make it up. I have no reason to make that up. That's literally how he, he was great. He was, he was such a nice guy. Probably one of my favorite teachers. We really never did anything in class, but he taught us very important things about life. Um, they want it's a ghost in a G3. Eight furlongs in the dirt. I say, why not? And that's to, <laughs> he's, well, I keep forgetting, we, we bought that upgrade where our horses recover much faster after each race. So even though we literally just raced him a week ago, he's already ready 
to go. And in fact, this may be the last race, actually. What time is it? Yeah, it's a little bit late here. This might be the last race for this particular episode, because we still have a lot to do, a lot to accomplish. Let's go ahead and get one more and see if we can get another win. And my main p goal of doing this, I know sometimes some people want the longer episodes, but the thing is, if I were to upload episodes at an hour long, you guys would only get those epi episodes like once every two weeks. And I I'm aware as someone that watches YouTubers myself, those episodes are great, but if they come every blue moon, you get through them, you can binge watch that in a day, and then you won't get anything else from that particular YouTuber for, you know, a couple of weeks or whatever at a time. And I would prefer to have shorter episodes, but more consistent uploads over a period of a couple of weeks than just to have one really, really long episode and then not have anything for a couple of weeks. That's just me. And... I think that's the best way to make sure that, you know, you guys have consistent content, which is my main, main goal on this channel. So here's a G3. We're stepping it up in class. That was an open win. Nothing big. But this is G3 competition. Still, I trigger again with Thompson. With that, that, that combination is dangerous. She flew by us uh, the race before the last one that we actually won. She'll probably do the same again today. Thompson is still a very great jockey. She is fantastic. Odd Trigger is a great horse. And um, 75 heart. Well, no kidding. His father had heart. Night Breeze had heart. Let's check out Odd Trigger. I don't really recognize that horse. Odd Trigger, yeah. 78 speed. 66 stamina. So statistically, he definitely looks better than It's a Go so far. We still don't know half of our own horse's stats when it comes to It's a Ghost, but this particular horse we're looking at right here on screen, Odd Trigger, he definitely seems to be decent, hence why we are struggling to beat him. We have more heart, but his heart isn't bad either. Odd Trigger's heart's only 69, ours is 75, and we still don't know our other stats. He's got better stamina than us. 10 points of more stamina, so he'll definitely be able to run at a higher intensity for a longer duration of time than us, so we're going to have to run a perfect race to beat him. I trigger it. Is it him? Or is it a her? I don't even remember. I apologize. The horse It's a ghost. His father has the record here. 133 and 7. Are we going to beat that? Probably not. we got to beat Odd Trigger first. And the weather goes. That was a Great beautiful start. start. Hopefully nobody's going to be running like a maniac here and challenging us for the lead. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right. I know I run him a little bit fast out the gates, but that's because I want to make sure I give ourselves a little bit of a gap in space uh, to make sure that we can establish a very clear lead and we're not going to have to waste stamina battling with other horses. Usually, you can avoid that if you get your horse out really far by a couple of lanes. That's at least what I've noticed when I'm playing. So, where is Odd Trigger? That is who we're looking out for. All the way at the back, pretty much. And okay. Great that a horse got blocked. But the AI never seemed to block each other. They only block human players. You gotta love how that was um, coded and programmed. The field is coming. We're fine. Last corner leader, though. We're gonna get it moving. Odd Trigger is on the run. We're not going to whip yet. In the home Last corner leader. Good. We're going to take off two furlongs to go. Still plenty of stamina. Not going to use the whip yet. Odd Trigger is coming. 1.5 furlongs. Odd Trigger is still coming. Still coming. We're still winning. The four is coming as well. Now we're going to whip furlong left to go. Holy crap. Odd Trigger is flying on the outside. That stamina is going to hurt us though. Oh, uh, can we get there? Are we going to get there? Finish. Photo finish. I think we just got there. I think we just. Oh, this is going to be close. We may have just held off. <laughs> oh my goodness, no way. No way. Didn't beat the world record, but we held on. Thank goodness I got going when I needed to get going because Odd Trigger was coming. Our stamina gave out and he still could probably go another half a length to, I mean, another half furlong to a furlong. So fantastic win. Fantastic win. Two back-to-back -back wins for It's a Ghost absolutely great stuff absolutely great stuff Whew. 
That was tough. Quick position, fast spurt. The old man Sheba's happy. We'll take it. Okay. That is a really great result. That's a great back-to-back -back win, and it's a great at stakes win as well. For it's a go. So he's moving up. He's moving up. He's gaining more confidence. We're gaining more confidence with him as well. My reputation... Wait. My reputation has skyrocketed recently, thanks to you. So I'm going to let you ride that best horse from now on. Keep this up. Okay. Pink said something very similar. She didn't give me diddly squat. I hope you're actually giving me a horse, Shiva. You're not even giving me a horse. You're just telling me that I can ride a horse that I was already going to be riding unless I messed it up anyways. Like, thanks, I guess. And they want him in a G3 going six furlongs on the turf. He's not a turf horse. What? Is that a joke? Well, actually, we don't know if he's a turf. Well, I know he's for sure a dirt horse. We don't know if he can run on the turf. I guess that's the real question. Um, I am going to put him in a race. What did we just run? We just ran, so we won at seven furlongs, and we won at eight. So I'm going to keep it seven to eight for now on the dirt. There's no reason to switch that up. So we, let's go seven furlongs here. And um, does he have a preference for counterclockwise or clockwise? No, don't think so. Okay, I just wanted to double check. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll go seven furlongs for that grade three. All right, cool. So guys, next time we return here, Pale Fear will be up. This is just a horse that we're using just to kind of consistently perform well. Onyx Prince will also be up. Sharp Charm, she'll be back up. And then we'll be back up again with It's a Ghost. He already jumped from a C to A just from that grade three win. Five races. He has finished in the money four out of five times, which is already fantastic. So it's looking good. As always, appreciate you guys' love and support on the channel. Make sure to uh, check the description box below for a link to my... Uh, racing channel which is chemical racing or racing chemical i think uh yeah racing chemical because my team that i'm playing with in that game on that channel is chemical racing it's goofy but anyways that channel will be in the description box below for any of my formula one um motorsport fans whatever um yeah that channel will be there appreciate you guys love and support as always but until next time worst racing gamers signing out i'll be over great fantastic day see ya and goodbye